Hey yo everyone, this video should just be a real quick video because I just wanted to talk about one more variation with the if statement before we move on to something new. Before we dive in, I would encourage you to check out our sponsor, Pramp. Pramp is the platform if you need either practice with your development skills or practice with your interviewing skills. Check out Pramp if you think mock interviews would be tremendously helpful to you. I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. All right, so in the previous video, we talked about the ternary operator and how it could be easily converted to an if statement. There's one other variation of an if statement that you might see, and that is a single line if statement. One thing though is that we're not gonna be able to have an else statement. But instead of setting welcome equal to true or false here, what we could do is we could assume the person is not welcome and then only make it true if they are welcome, which in this situation, their name must be Claire, which pss, why would Claire be welcome? That doesn't even make sense. Yeah, I guess I'll make an exception. Claire, you're gonna be welcome for this, this one video, but after that, you're no longer welcome here. <laughs> All right, so this is pretty cool. You know, if, if the person's name is Claire, which it is, which you could eventually get this name from user input, which we've done in earlier videos. If this person's name is Claire, we can check if it's equal to the value Claire. And just to be safe, we could even put it to lowercase, like so, and then put another dot. So this is method chaining. We're gonna get this method, which will return a string. And then we're gonna call dot equals on the, the result of this method. All right, so this is gonna work. It's just gonna set welcome to true if the person's name is Claire. At the end, we're just going to sys out welcome just to see what the result is. So we run this, we get the value true. If we change the value of Claire up here, maybe we could say Claire with a capital C, it should still be true. And you know, if we mess it up and put a couple too many E's, well, we're gonna get false. One variation though is you might actually see this without these curly braces. So you might see something like this. And this is actually a legal thing and it's going to work the same way. So when we run this, we should get false. And if I change this to Claire, we should get true. There we go. The one thing you need to know here though is that you can only have one statement. So if I wanted to say, you know, we're gonna welcome Claire because we're really nice today. We run this. And you can see it says welcome Claire and it evaluated to true. But if I change the name to something else and we run this, you can see it still says welcome Claire. That's because when we don't put the curly braces, only the first statement is part of that if statement. So even though this is indented, it's not part of that if statement, which is a very common flaw. It will come back and bite you in the butt. It'll reap your soul. <laughs> Sorry, I just got Diablo Reaper of Souls. So. It's on my mind, you know? So technically this should not be indented if you're gonna follow convention. That's a little bit more clear, but it's still not entirely clear. So my rule of thumb is whenever I'm gonna have a one line if statement, I'm going to put the statement on the same line as the condition. And this is a pretty well established convention just for safety, because now if I wanted to also output something, well, this just doesn't seem right, you know? Because once I see that this one's on this line, it's gonna indicate in my brain that this is a single line if statement and I'm not likely to make that mistake. So that is the single line if statement. Nothing too crazy, just wanted to keep it real simple for you guys. If these videos have been helpful, please consider subscribing to, you know, support my channel and whatnot. Before you go, please check the links in the description for the Java Crash Course, the notes, and the link to the sponsor. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.